Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and if you don't know me, I do a lot of content related to Framer because Framer is basically like my favorite no-code tool. It has so much potential not only to build amazing landing pages, but you can also build, you know, projects that involve e-commerce, for example, like today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk about integrating Stripe to your Framer project. And uh, basically, it's using this tool called Frameshop that I just discovered about a week ago or so. And I downloaded one of their templates. I'm going to see how it works. And I want to show you guys basically the, the whole process of, of um, setting it up and, and looking at the different components and giving you guys a, a sneak peek of, of the actual published website and showing you how it works to integrate your CMS um, products to your Stripe page. So if that interests you guys, stick around and let's get started. So before we actually get into Framer, I want to show you guys the landing page, the Frameshop landing page. So if you go to frameshop.io, you can see this landing page where you can see, well, they have like this nice little design of getting Stripe notifications. Everyone loves that. Um, so it would be cool to actually integrate that to Framer. And we basically can see here that we have a fully customizable um, design. So it's, it's not like pre-made setups that you can't really design it's everything is very flexible in terms of design right and, and in terms of your own uh clients branding or your own branding right um it's it's without any code you can integrate cms um it's it's all with your cms and then it's easily uh, uh stock management it's a plugin in your framer uh project and you can basically see all of the synced projects between your uh, Stripe account and your uh, Framer CMS, right? Um, and also, I, I I also would recommend you check out the documentation. So if you go to frameship frameship.io slash documentation, um, frameshop, sorry, not frameship, uh, here's a really good step-by-step uh, -step guide on how to get started from scratch. Um, but if you don't want to get started from scratch, I would totally recommend using a template from the template gallery. That's what I'm going to be basically showing you today because it's 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 basically seeing, analyzing everything um, from the back end so you can see how it's built. So I'm using this miracle template for today. So I'm going to go to my framer and this is basically how it looks like, right? We have the desktop, tab, tablet, and mobile view. And you can see here, if I were to go press play, uh, it's, it's already built. It has this nice little hero section design and we have this nav bar, right? And we, in the nav bar, we have a cart and this cart already has a product. So this cart consists of different frame shop components. For example, the first one being this one, the second one being the actual uh, cart with this icon. And I'm going to show you this more in detail uh, in the coming minutes. And then the next ones are basically this empty cart button and the checkout button, right? So if you were to click checkout, it would automatically link to my Stripe checkout page that is synced with the CMS of this actual uh, plugin, right? And you can look at these different products. Let's look at this one, for example. You can see how many products are in stock. So that's another, um, you know, Shopify, compo uh, not Shopify, a uh, frame shop component and you can tell where I'm from. So it says I'm from Miami Gardens. I mean, that's I'm not directly from there, but I'm from close by. And uh, so that's a pretty cool um, feature that Frameshop has. So if I were to publish this page and I were to go to this page over here and do a little test with some product that I like. So let's add this to the cart. Let's add this to the cart. Actually, let's clear the cart. And let's again add this and this. This one is out of stock, so we can't really add it. Let's look at this little bento grid. Um, let's learn more about this. Let's add this to the card. Okay, so we have three products in our card, right? So we have these three. Now what we can do is we can go check out. And once we click on check out, it starts to load and boom, it tells me the total price it gives me the list of the three different products that I chose that were in my card. And it gives me the, the ability to pay, you know, with, with card via Stripe. And once you pay, uh, 
once you pay for that, you can basically go back to to Framer and you click on your frame shop dashboard and you can see the amount of sales, the amount of customers and, and payments that they've made. So that's also pretty cool, a pretty cool feature that frame shop has. But to get started with frame shop, basically the first thing that you would have to do. So if I were to log out here is you'd have to copy your CMS configuration and you press allow. And once you do that, you just press paste and it would give you this pre-built uh, configuration for your project. I already have it, so I'm gonna delete this one. And these are basically like my products that I have based on this template that is already pre-built from Frameshop. So I'm gonna be using that. And once you do that, once you start off with that copy thing, you click here and you log in with Stripe. And when you log in with Stripe, it's gonna ask you what shop you want. I, for example, have a few of them, so I'm just gonna click on this connect and it's going to load for a bit and then once it loads it says authentication successful so you can just close this tab go back to framer and boom you have your shop shop id which is very important um, because you want to basically replace that in the different components right and so let's say that you want to go to you want to go to this one and we have the button here that says Add to cart, you wanna basically replace that shop, shop ID over here uh, so that it actually links to your shop. And once you do that, uh, once, you're, once you're up and ready, uh, basically you wanna click on here, choose a collection and synchro synchronize with, with, with Stripe. It's, mine is already synced. I have other products as well that I've done in, in some test products before this video. But basically, you can see all of your products here with the stock based on your Stripe um, account page, right? So you can not only see the products from this particular project, but you can see them from other projects that are linked in the same Stripe account. And what's cool here is here's all the different components. So you have the add to cart. So you have it's basically this one. Um, you have the stock amounts. So the amount of, of so if we were to go to a specific page product page, you can see the stock amount right here. So that's this, this uh, component. And basically it's this number linked to a specific shop ID. Then you have, uh, this is actually a fetch component, which is pretty cool. Then you have the card counter. So here the, the card counter would be this little dot right here. So frame shop cart. Um, and basically it would, it would, you know, every time that you increase the, the number of, of add to cart, it would increase the number, right? And you have the card item list. So it's basically an, a, a list of different items. So if you were to go here um, into this specific uh, cart, uh, you can see the different items for, for each um, item that you want to add to your, to your uh, list, right? So if, for example, just to show you, what that would look like, it would look like this. One second, like this, it would come out here. So if I were to add one of these products, let's add this one, for example, then that would be the, the list uh, component, right? Then let's see what else we got. Let's open this plugin again. And we have the empty cart, which we saw earlier, the total cart, which is basically the sum, and then the checkout which is the final process of actually implementing your shop. Um, the checkout, you just paste it into your cart, for example. You know, you wouldn't paste it into your, your, your product page. You would paste it into your cart after the sum of everything. And boom, you basically go like this. Well, we saw it before, right? Um, if we were to go to a specific page, uh, Oh, we already have stuff here. So if, this is basically the checkout button. It, just adding the shop ID um, to the button, it takes you to your Stripe, uh, to your Stripe checkout page. So, and again, um, best to look at their documentation and it's always best to start with a template. I think it's much easier than to start from scratch. I think the templates are very, uh, they're not they are not so expensive. They're like, um, Oh, expensive. They're like 50 bucks. It's worth it. If you want to build something like this, I totally recommend you start with a template. The, the design, if you don't like the design, it's totally customizable. 
um, because it's framer. But it's a, if, if you want the logic, if you want the function already, I totally recommend you guys to use one of the templates. It's, it's a big um, time saver. And I'll put the description below for these templates so that you can check them out. So if you guys have any cool ideas of things I can build that can integrate to Stripe, um, I, I want cool ideas cooler than just a, a clothing store or, or, a, or a beauty store. I want, if you guys have really cool ideas of something I can build with Stripe, please write them down in the comments and I can do that uh, video this week or next week. So, um, so yeah, uh, let, me, let me know guys. If you like this video, also uh, click on the like button. I'm going to link this frame shop to the description below. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys learned something new today. And yeah, thanks. Bye-bye.